All right, this video is for sideline hip internal rotation, tails and rails. Uh, for this, you just need a couple things, a yoga block and uh, some sort of towel or pillow. Towel or, or pillow is gonna go between the knees. The thickness is really up to you. Uh, the goal of this exercise is to increase hip internal rotation. So if someone that's really, really limited, this is a great starting point uh, because it's very easy for them to get in this position versus uh, the 90-90 that I would give to someone who's more advanced. Yoga block is gonna go between the feet here, and then I'm just gonna lay myself all the way down. So from this position here, what we wanna pay attention to is the pelvis. It's staying stacked on top of each other. I don't want it hiking up and us doing a little side crunch. You shouldn't feel a whole bunch of tension and you shouldn't feel the pelvis migrating up towards the armpit at any point during the exercise. We should keep that uh, the same throughout. So if I was real limited, the starting point would be here with the yoga block towel here. I'm gonna exhale, feel the abs engage. I wanna keep that tension throughout the movement as if someone's gonna poke me in the tummy. From here, I'm gonna slowly increase my effort of the foot down into the yoga block. So right now, I just have tension in my abs and I'm pushing the foot down into the yoga block. And we wanna slowly increase that effort, nice and progressively. Uh, the first set, I always like to start a little lower, 25 to 50% effort here. And then I'm gonna very gently relax back down to zero. Right after that, I'm gonna make sure I still have my abs. I'm gonna squeeze my knees together and then slowly attempt, without my pelvis moving here, to make that foot either feel lighter or actually lift away. If we end up lifting away, cool. And we're gonna hold that for the same amount of time, 20 to 30 seconds here. Should feel that on the outside of the hip. A lot of times we wanna cramp with this one, so uh, I want you to be really cautious or conscious of your breathing and nice, slow, deep breaths. That's gonna help calm down that cramp sensation. And then I'll very gently relax that after holding for the same amount of time. Get that yoga block back in there for our second set. And on the second set here, we're gonna go through the same steps. Um, our first contraction, this is our pails, our progressing angle. So I'm pushing down a little bit more intensely this time. I worked up to uh, 50 to 75% range. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds, and then very gently relax. And then I'll do the same thing, squeeze the towel together, make sure I still got my abs, and then try to lift away. And if we're able to lift far enough where we can adjust the yoga block position on the third and final set, then I would, I would adjust that for that next set. Okay, 20 to 30 second hold there. And then if I had lifted far enough, I could do this on the next set. If the lift is very minimal or we're, we're not even losing uh, any, any connection with that top foot in the yoga block, then we'll just keep that the same for all three sets. Um, so it should take about three to four minutes total here for that one round. We can do this once or twice per day. And uh, it doesn't matter which side you do first, if you're doing both sides, just make sure you do all three sets right in a row and then flip and do the other side. And we don't wanna do one on this side, one on the other side and go back and forth.